Ever since its first movie adaptation in 1997, this comic anti-hero from hell has deserved another chance to prove to the world just what it can do. While the first movie didn't do justice to Spawn, in the past few years there have been talks about another one making it on the big screen. Although we haven't seen it yet, it appears as if things are finally looking in the right direction with the latest announcements about this movie. So what do we know about it? Major updates. Spawn creator Todd McFarlane has been working on bringing a reboot to this character for more than half a decade now. In the last few months, he provided progress on the long-awaited project, saying, It's getting hot and heavy. This reboot has been in development for quite some time, and while it hasn't happened yet, the success of Venom and Joker, as well as the recent Batman and Marvel's Moon Knight, has given McFarlane hope that this will help him bring Spawn back to the big screen. The latest update about this project sounds promising, and since comic book movies have been the dominant force at the cinematic box office for years, slowly shifting towards the darker side, it would appear to be the perfect time for this Spawn movie to make its debut. McFarlane created this character while he was still a teen, and it was published in the 1990s and became one of the hottest comic books at that time. As it grew in popularity, it had enough merit for a live-action film in 1997. However, the film ended up being savaged by critics and still has a dismal 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. HBO did produce three seasons of an animated series called Todd McFarlane Spawn, which has far better reviews. Given all of this, we weren't surprised when he wanted to do his version of Spawn and finally make it the way he always wanted. And it appears that the time has come. The recent updates have suggested that this movie is happening and that they have a whole production planned for its development. The one question is, when will we be able to see it? Expected release date. For years, there have been talks about this movie and when it will finally get to the stage of production. Well, to be honest, we still don't know. Todd is hopeful that progress has been made so far and that nothing is stopping him or Blumhouse production from making it. Allegedly, the development of Spawn is back on track, but when exactly are we able to see it is the hard question. Given that Spawn made its debut in May 1992 and its 30th anniversary is in May this year, it would make it the ideal time to make this announcement, right? Well, we hope so. If it is announced that this movie has entered production this month, it would mean that a release date could be expected as early as the beginning of 2023. That is, if everything goes smoothly. It takes a couple of months for filming and then an extra few months in post-production. So we wouldn't get our hopes up so much for a 2022 release date. We have waited so far and now we can only hope that nothing further delays this project as it has in the past. There have been a few talks that the production was scheduled to begin in 2019, but unfortunately, the project was put on the back burner for the majority of the year. After the huge box office success of Joker, the idea of creating such an R-rated comic book film has been highly wanted and since, the development has been pushed forward. While this was all in 2019, it has been a few years since then and we still have no release date. But don't let that make you sad. Given all the information about this Spawn reboot, we believe that this year will be the year when all the announcements will be made. Who will be in it? One of the cast members that are almost certain that will be joining the cast of Spawn is Jamie Foxx. He has said back in 2013 that he loves Spawn and he even told McFarlane that he is ready to play the famous Al Simmons whenever he decides to make this movie. In 2018, Fox signed on to play the character and last year, he even reconfirmed that he is still up for the role. However, at this point, his involvement is unclear but we have high hopes that McFarlane will still have Fox in mind when it comes to finding the cast for this movie. It is clear that Fox adores Spawn and that he has been invested in this project, but we have yet to see an official cast list for it. Other than Fox, in 2018, Jeremy Renner also signed to play Sam Twitch, a city detective who investigates the cases that trace back to Spawn. McFarlane has even praised Renner on such how incredible an actor he is and that he would love to surround himself with actors such as Renner and Fox. As of today, both Fox and Renner aren't still an official choice, even though they once signed on to play their parts. But as there isn't any other news about new cast members, we believe it is safe to say that Fox and Renner will come to play their once given roles and make a movie that will truly be unforgettable. What will happen? 
Spawn begins life as an assassin named Albert Francis Simmons before being murdered and making a deal to become Hellspawn. The story has already been adapted in the 1997 movie, and now McFarlane wants to go a different direction, meaning that he doesn't want to tell the origin story of Spawn. He has plans to tell a completely different story than the one that was told in the 1997 movie adaptation. There hasn't been much information about the details of the plot, but it has been said that it will focus less on Al Simmons' transformation into Spawn and more on the human characters who get tied up with Spawn and his unusual activities. The movie is budgeted at $10 million by Blumhouse Productions and is said that it will not be a typical superhero movie. It is safe to say that McFarlane will be able to take any direction he wants with his beloved character. So what could he focus on? Well, since it won't be an origin story, it might be a story we have never heard of, with a new villain that they will introduce in the movie. Or they could make a villain that already exists in the comic book making an appearance on the big screen. But it wouldn't be any villain that was in the first movie. It will take a different turn and be as gritty and gory as possible, and we can't wait to hear more about it. Until then, we can go back and go through comic books to search for clues on what could happen. Writers and Directors Todd McFarlane, who is the face behind the Spawn character, will make his first directorial debut with this movie. He has said that he doesn't feel nervous at all and that he has already directed this movie a hundred times in his head. He wants to turn this movie into a horror movie rather than the typical action blockbuster. And so far, it seems to be going in the right direction. While he might be the director for this movie, he won't be the writer as well. While he finished the final draft of the script years ago, there has been another person assigned to rewrite the script and deliver the screenplay, and that is Brian Tucker. Tucker's only screenwriting credit is a 2013 crime thriller, Broken City, which was a box office flop with poor reviews. It might sound like a huge concern to add Tucker as a writer, but McFarlane believes he can deliver the style and gore that the Spawn character already has and put it into words. McFarlane has very few demands for this movie, two of them being it has to be R-rated, and he had to be the director. Other than McFarlane and Tucker, we have no other information on who is behind it. But with all of this, we are happy to say that we believe that this movie will be the perfect redemption from the first one and give a much more depth to the character and the entire story. On a related note, we wanted to know, what are your expectations about the Spawn movie? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.